Welcome to Ross A. Netherwood School. Located in the beautiful province of New Brunswick on the east coast of Canada, it's only 10 minutes away from the city of St. John. Ross A. Netherwood has been a leading independent school in Canada since 1877. Today, it's an IB co-ed day and boarding school for grades 6 through 12. The campus lies on 200 acres of spectacular property. Every part of the school grounds is used by the staff and students for both educational and recreational purposes. It is absolutely breathtaking with picture-perfect views from anywhere you stand. When you step foot onto the hill, the scenery alone will make you feel right at home. The thing about Ross A. Netherwood that really stands out is its people. This is where bonds are made which last a lifetime. My favorite part of the house is that we have students that come internationally, so from all over the world. And myself, I've lived with various kids from Europe and Australia and Mexico. And so to learn these cultures, not just to see them, but to actually partake in them, to eat what they eat and to, to do what they do and see how they interact with their family and friends. Is, it's an amazing learning experience that you can take things and apply them to your own life. I think one of the cool things here is that you can have friends from all over the world, like Korea, US, I think there's something like 20 different nationalities in the school. And that's one of the things which makes it really culturally diverse, which is really neat to have. The friendships that you build in school are so powerful that like, they literally don't match to what the friendships that I had like, when I was in middle school. My favorite thing about NS is I think being in a community and being with yeah, international people, not only a Canadian, so many people from, from the world, from Germany, from Asia, um, yeah, yeah, I think that's, that's the most important thing for me. I think what keeps me coming back is just being with your friends all the time. I live here in Mackay House and the fact that you have all your best friends surrounding you the entire time keeps me coming back. It's just so much fun to have everyone around you. The way I like to look at it, being in Mackay House, I have 38 brothers and that's a bond that it's almost unexplainable. You, you share every waking moment with these people, whether it be getting help with homework, trying to make some food, hanging out after school, everything you do, you do it together and you, you learn so much about people that way. Behind every great student lies a great teacher. At Ross A. Netherwood, teaching isn't just a job, it's a passion. The staff lives on campus and is available to the students 24 hours a day, seven days a week. It's a different kind of teaching job that only a few can accomplish. These extra hours are not in vain as the students look at each one of their teachers as a life mentor and as a friend. Every one of us can think of a great year we had in school, and it will always come back to that grade six year or that grade 12 year was wonderful, and it'll always come back to a teacher. And by having the faculty live on campus, uh, by having the programs that we have, I think we've done a wonderful job of creating that sense of community and finding those special teachers that touch the souls of children. They're just so different from teachers in like other schools. They'll, you know, ask me for my homework and uh, how I was doing and then, you know, like they just, they're like my friends. Well, first of all, the teacher, not only do they undertake res responsibilities within class, but they also um, coach us sports and um, they do duties on the weekends and on the weekdays. They just come, they'll sit at the kitchen table and they'll ask their questions. So you really become involved in their lives. I think that a teacher who chooses to have a career at this school does so because they love that opportunity to be richly involved in the boarding school life and in a school experience that allows them to get to know their students really, really well. Ross A. Netherwood is an IB school. Students in grade 9 and 10 do the pre-IB program and students in grade 11 and 12 do the full diploma program. Because of the small class size, every senior student will have the help they need to get through. Our goal is to prepare the students, not just for university, but for the rest of their lives. The students are pushed to strive higher and learn to make those leaps and bounds necessary to get the job done. My favorite class is math, and the thing that makes the class so unique is the student-to-teacher ratio. In my math class is only eight students, so our teacher can really focus on us as an individual and the strengths that we have and the weaknesses that we have. 
Virginia. Well, the IB program is an international program, so worldwide it's very well known. So it's, it's a really great opportunity, particularly for international students, um, that they can come here, take courses, and easily transfer those credits to their universities or their further schools, wherever they, they come from. There are over 16 sports played on a competitive level at Ross A. Netherwood. Come on, come on. For a small school, anyone who wants to play gets to play. Going up against other schools where they have thousands of students to choose from, Ross A. Netherwood's goal is for the kids to have fun. But having fun also has its rewards, as their track record speaks for itself with dozens of undefeated seasons. Each student chooses a sport to participate in, and every measure is made to make sure they get the most out of it. We got 20 to 22 uh, competitive teams uh, per year. We try and get as many sports as possible for, for the students. If they want to play, we try and get that opportunity available for them. Like the great thing about, our, uh, about the sports system here is that if you want to play competitive, we do have our competitive teams. But if, even, because sports are mandatory, if you're not really into playing rugby or playing soccer or hockey, you could, there's also like rec sports. You can go work out at the gym or you can do intramural sports and get a feel for all sorts of different sports. So it's kind of a little bit of, of something for everyone. There are four residence buildings on campus. These quickly become home to the students, where they get to work, play, and relax while being in the company of their friends. Each house has a house parent. If I'm on duty, I have to wake the kids up at seven, uh, go to breakfast with them, make sure they sign in for their meal, make sure they eat a good healthy breakfast to get their day started off properly. Uh, do room inspection, make sure they get out the door to chapel on time, supervise study at night, make sure they do some work and they're in their rooms, which is kind of difficult at times. Uh, put them to bed on time, make sure they get their homework done, brush your teeth, that sort of thing. Typical mom stuff. Mom will wake her home. Mom, here's my room. This yeah. is our bathroom. There's a whole bathroom in This is the dispenser. It's got our shampoos, our conditioner, our soap, and our shower gel. Uh, I like boarding school. It's a whole new uh, experience, and then it, it prepares you for like the university. I like the friends that you make here, are, like so much stronger than the friends that I had. I've been with them for a while, and they're just too average. It's almost like you're at camp all the time. Yeah, going it, home. Like, I compare it to summer camp all the time. That's where you have homework. <laughs> Uh, well, this is my first year boarding, so, and it's definitely different, but coming from a day student to boarding, it's like so many different experiences, and like, you really get a feel for the school if you board.